Hello, this week we are drawing Abraham Lincoln and um, I'm starting off with a quick sketch and today I'm going to do something a little different uh, before I do the final lines. I'm going to kind of sculpt out um, Abraham with a little eraser that I have. So I'm going to do a little bit of sculpting but uh, what you can see right now is I'm, I'm just doing like a little uh, quick sketch on an 11 by 14 sheet of paper. Just kind of get my thoughts together. So I'm looking about I'm looking at about five different pictures of Abraham. I've got a profile picture of him, front view, and then like a quarter view that I'm looking at. <clears throat> so right now, um, I've got what you see there is a gray piece of eraser. It's called needle eraser. It's a type of rubber that um, erases pencil lines and things like that. So it gets darker as you use it. It doesn't leave those um, shavings that other erasers do. So they just it just picks up or absorbs the lead. <clears throat> so it's just an eraser. So um, what I'm doing is kind of sculpting him out right now in shapes. He has a really cool face. So I, I normally, I almost never do this as far as sculpting uh, out the caricature. <clears throat> but he has a really amazing face. So it's really easy to kind of sculpt or shape out before I do any pencil. So um, I'm just kind of getting pieces, adding his eyebrows, making it kind of fluffy, I guess. And uh, just gathering everything together <clears throat> and the benefit of this is that you get to see all the different shapes uh, right in your hand and you kind of turn it around so that you can see different angles of the caricature <clears throat> so it, you know if you sculpt it out and you kind of turn it to the quarter or you know if you turn it upside down or flip it up so where you're looking upward you can kind of see different angles of it um, to kind of judge which which way you're going to be drawing it. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is trying to figure out how to sink in his eyes inside his his head. Because when I look at Abraham, his eyeballs, the first thing is that his eyeballs, they sink in almost like a skull. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out at this point right here that you see how to, how to sink in his eyes. So I just dug my fingers inside his eyes um, sockets and then I'm gonna be making eyeballs right now and I'm dropping them in and so I'm kind of kind of just looking at the whole uh, as a whole I'm kind of flipping around looking at it in different angles <clears throat> now I'm going to sketch it out on paper um, this this caricature took me about an hour and 45 minutes or so to, to, to complete that includes the sketching and the painting and all the different things. It was it was a lot of quick. It was much quicker than the normal paintings that I do because this is basically a, a pencil caricature, uh, and then I just add different washes or different layers of uh, acrylic over over on top of it, giving it like a brown type of feel to it, <clears throat> or a, a an old time type of picture. But anyway, so I'm sketching out the different features as you see. Um, I'm just now I'm just basically copying what what was sculpted so um, I'm kind of looking at the shadows of it <coughs> and kind of uh, adding all the different lines this is just going to be something I trace over so I'm just I'm not really taking it serious I'm just kind of um, going over it real messy just sketching it out uh, this is a second sketch of the sculpt uh, sculpting thing there um, I wasn't satisfied, I guess, with the first one. So here's another one. I'm going over it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, with the background that I chose on this here and the overall acrylic uh, layer, of uh, brown layer that I put over the whole thing, uh, I was kind of inspired by a painting I, I looked at on Saturday. I was working at some country club, and they have these cool paintings everywhere. So they set me up next to uh, this painting. And it was really cool. I wasn't able to uh, see who it was by, but it was an original. And it was basically a, a, a portrait of, of some, some old guy on canvas. And then they just did a quick um, acrylic wash over it, like a brown uh, layer, uh, giving it uh, an old time feel or a look to it. So anyways, I, 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 when I saw this Abraham one that we were going to draw, I was kind of like, thinking about doing that so uh, but this whole background this whole thing it was more of a of an experiment kind of by accident uh, I just wanted to try see how it looked um, but I'm glad it, it didn't take too long so it was pretty quick this is basically a, a pencil caricature 
Um, so what I'm doing is just kind of looking at the, uh, the sculptor, sculpting thing there, the model, and I'm kind of tracing what I see, just drawing it on paper. Um, uh, I think I, I, was, I was reading a, an artist named Bruno Thies. Um, he said that um, he likes well, what he did today, or I think he uploaded it today. He uploaded a quick pencil sketch of, uh, of Abraham. And he says he, he basically looked at the caricature or the picture um, about an hour ago. He said he looked at it for a while. And then after about an hour, he did a quick caricature without looking at the reference picture. Uh, and that was that was a really that was a really good tip, because what that does, it allows your mind to uh, remember the main features of the of the person you're drawing without getting distracted from um, the other features that aren't really important. Um, so he drew a really great caricature sketch. It might have took him, I think he said, like 10 minutes or something, five minutes. But I thought that was a, a really good uh, tip, and I thought I wanted to include it uh, in this video just to let you know uh, it's, it'd be good uh, to uh, just, just glance at the, the reference picture and just draw them from memory. So that's what he was trying to say, just drawing them from memory um, is, a, is a good little uh, trick. So anyway, so now I, I've traced it. The, uh, my cell phone wasn't recording uh, so uh, at this point, so you, you missed out about a good um, 10, 15 minutes of sketching. So I'm basically, I'm sketching, um, I've already sketched apparently on, on this here. So what you see, I'm, I'm just doing all the details with a pencil. But what I've done is taken the, the picture on the left and I, I put it underneath the canvas sheet, which, which is on the right side of this video. And I just traced it. I just traced the <clears throat> caricature onto the canvas. Now this was it was a little different. It was much different than what I'm used to because um, the canvas has this texture, it has a weird feeling, like a cloth feeling to it. So, so it was really hard to get dark lines, and it was pretty messy. So occasionally you're going to see me uh, using like a sheet of paper, a scratch sheet of paper, uh, to go underneath my hand because um, without it, I would be smudging all the pencils. See that sheet of paper I'm using. Uh, just to kind of help without you know without making too much mess because it does smear a lot on the canvas so so um, what I'm doing is just kind of uh, sketching uh, all the different shadows and the shading um, with with a regular pencil and not much here let me see what I can add to this um, let me see I'm just kind of doing some shading here um, the beard and all the different things there. Again, I just I just use the model, uh, the clay that I use to get those shapes out. Um, so if you have, you can get those erasers by the way at like a art supply. It's called Needle. I think it's spelled with a K. Uh, an eraser design design makes them. That's the brand. Uh, Prismacolor makes uh, needle erasers, so you can get them online, I guess, or even the art shop. Uh, Prismacolor makes them. They're just uh, gray uh, rubber erasers. So I'm sure you know of them. So um, they're very beneficial. Sometimes I'll, I'll kind of use uh, the eraser and kind of sketch out or mold out different shapes of heads. And when like before an event. So if I'm drawing at an event and I have some time to practice, I'll kind of do a quick uh, few head shapes with the clay model. Just kind of loosen me up. Um, so what I'm doing here is just kind of adding a lot of the dark areas. Uh, when I what I didn't what I didn't know is when I went with the um, when I start doing the acrylics over this drawing, it actually smeared a little bit of the, of the pencil. Um, so, anyways, I, I don't think I would have gone so dark in the beginning. I might have uh, later if I do uh, this technique again. I will add the dark uh, areas and stuff with the pencil. I'll probably do that at the very very end. <clears throat> Uh, because there was a lot of smearing. Uh, let me see what I can add to this. Um, it was a lot of fun. He had, he had a great, great head. Uh, he had tons of features. It was almost like a battle which which one to exaggerate on the most because he had a huge forehead. But then these ears that stuck out and then he had this beard and big nose. <clears throat> so if you if we try to exaggerate too much on certain features, 
Um, the other features that stand out, maybe a little more, kind of get swallowed, um, and then you lose a likeness. So, um, anyways, I, I just kind of chose uh, the sink in eyes. See his eyes kind of sink in his, his face there, and those cheekbones that kind of uh, go downward and flip up. Um, and then I use his ears, of course, and then his beard. I didn't really exaggerate too much on the forehead. Now that I look at it, it probably should have, uh, because it is it is quite big, it's quite large. I just didn't want it to distract from the other features that I wanted to uh, you know do this. But you could draw Lincoln probably a hundred different ways. Um, and it would still look like him because of all the features that he has. Um, so there I am. I'm kind of squirting out a few, <clears throat> a few colors. Um, the red I actually don't use. I use, I might use a, a small little drop of it. But uh, so there I am, just doing a quick layer of water. And while I'm doing this, I'm already noticing that this pencil is starting to smear. Um, but I get a, a dab of brown, a dab of yellow. Just it's almost like a watercolor because the acrylics are so thinned out at this point. Um, I'm just kind of doing a quick wash over the whole thing. Um, and what you don't see at the very end, I actually do a quick layer over his face um, while the video uploads. So um, so it looks a little bit more brown on his face. Um, so I'm just doing doing this with the fan brush. Um, on the left side, I did the same thing. I added a, a, a layer of, of water and then I dabbed it, uh, dabbed a few uh, paint, I dabbed some uh, brown paint on the uh, canvas and just kind of smeared it around. So that's what I'm doing there, just just trying to play around with the different colors. Uh, but a lot of times when you're when you're drawing caricatures, <clears throat> you don't you don't figure out what you're going to be doing on the background, at least I don't, uh, until it's already drawn out. Um, so, you know, I just kind of keep my eyes or keep my uh, mind open to different different ways of doing the background. Um, so, like Abraham Lincoln's his pictures, for example, they were they were almost all real antiquish. I think my wife told me she said that Abraham was the first first president to get photographed. Is that right, honey? Mm -hmm. uh, you told me, yeah, he was the first president or first person. First president. <laughs> yeah, Abraham was the first president to ever get photographed. So they were, they were really old time looking photographs that he had. So it was almost a given to draw the background and the whole caricature uh, as like an old time, you know, uh, feel to it, like an old photo. Uh, they definitely didn't have the Instagram, what do you call it, those filters, but uh, I, I try to give it some type of uh, antique-ish look. But um, my point was that sometimes the backgrounds, especially with different celebrities, you can do different backgrounds depending on the picture and depending on what type of vibe or feel that, that the person gives out. Uh, but at this one, this Abraham guy, it was, it was almost like a dead feel when, when I was drawing him. So, And all the pictures, again, again all the pictures he had were pretty much old. Um, so it was kind of like a given. You know, it was for sure we were going to be drawing an old time uh, feel or background to this caricature. Um, let's see, but here I am using a, a dryer now, a hair dryer. A lot of times the acrylic will um, dry pretty fast, but uh, because of, there was so much water on this page, I wanted it to kind of dry real quick, and then I wanted to absorb some of the colors. So I took a napkin, as you can see, and kind of took some of the colors off the background. And then I'm just trying things, just dabbing paint, uh, slapping it around, uh, flicking the fan brush to kind of give some dots every here and there and added right there a little um, a little drip line and I'm using the hair dryer to kind of move it as you can see a little bit um, but uh, again this was a lot of fun drawing this one and it's for the uh, if you're just watching this video and uh, what we what I do is as I participate in a, in a caricature contest I'll leave the link so you can look at it in this video